Hi, and welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, we're going to talk about linking to your intuition. This is a big one. This is a topic we don't often talk about. We talk about our mind, body, soul, spirit. It's never mind, body, soul, spirit, gut feeling. <laughs> Maybe that's because it doesn't sound very attractive, but that gut feeling, that gnawing feeling, that intuition, that instinct, that radar you have inside of you is a gift. We sometimes don't slow down enough to pay attention to it. Sometimes we even blatantly ignore it. And sometimes we're confused between the link between our mind and our heart and what our soul wants and what the spirit and the universe wants and what the gut is saying, no, 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 or yes, 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 or choose this, we don't always listen. So today we're going to talk about relinking that intuitive feeling, relinking that instinct, that gut instinct inside of you so it can align with your mind, body, soul, and spirit. So when was the last time you listened to your intuition? Do you even know? Do you even remember the last time you had that, that intuition, that instinct that kind of gave you a little nudge or a little tug? Do you recall that feeling, where you were, when you experienced it, and what did you do about it? Did you pay attention? Did you act upon it? Did you take action? Did you journal about it? Did you meditate upon it? Um, what did you do? last time you had it. Do you even remember? I think it's time we take a step back from our busy lives and start to actually pay attention to what our intuition is. We all have it inside of us. Some of us have it a little more, you know, refined as a tool than others because we've taken the time to pay attention to it. Some of us are so busy, we've completely neglected it. You know, kind of like we've left it inside of a car on a 102 degree day with the windows rolled up and that's not cool to do because our intuition is really our friend and our intuition can help us as our GPS, as our guide on our journey toward our destiny, toward our highest good and toward our ultimate well-being. Let me put it more in human terms that we all totally can relate to. Have you ever had the feeling that you're just tired? And you know you're tired, but you stay up late, or you add that one extra thing in your calendar, or you fulfill that one more obligation, you go to see someone's play or go to someone's party, and you know you've been burning the candle at both ends all week long. And you know your body's like, ugh, I kinda I I wanna go to sleep. But you just push yourself and push yourself, and then you get sick. Well, that's because you didn't listen to your intuition. You didn't listen to slow down, rest, you know, boundaries, say no, it's okay. You know, you need to take care of your health. You need to honor your energy. You need to replenish. Um, or sometimes we are, feel pressured into making a decision, so we don't think things through and we just act react and take action when we would really would have preferred to have slept on the idea or thought or request another day. Um, those are the things that we need to start to change those links in our life. It's those links where we do the woulda, shoulda, coulda or the what ifs and we don't need to be doing that. Mm, this is your life and so you can put it at your pace and you can make decisions based on how you really, truly, authentically feel. And that's a big one. We think that we need to be other things to other people or do other things because it's expected of us. And sometimes we don't listen to that gut, that intuition that says, you need to take care of yourself because there's no one going to take care of you unless you take care of you. So. The next time you feel pressured, or obligated, or stressed, or pushed to do something that your intuition is telling you the opposite of, 
Stop. That's all you have to do. Stop. Take a pause. Reflect. And listen to that inner, intuitive gut feeling. And honor it and respect it. And when you honor and respect your intuition, guess what happens? Your life starts to honor and respect you. And isn't that a better link to have on your journey? Isn't that a better link to put in your life path for a better life, a happier, more satisfying life that aligns with what your heart wants and what your mind wants and what your body really wants and what all of these little intuition, instinctive impulses are telling you, let's reconnect that link. You have the power to do it. And I'm hoping that you'll stop to think about this. The next time you get that little tug, that little gut intuitive feeling, and pay attention and link it back into your life. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life, and I hope you have a wonderful day.